Hello folks, my name is Mark. I am a five-year uh, fighting veteran with Blades of Glory Canada based out of Hastings, Ontario, Canada. Uh, we use the MACE system, which is the Medieval Armored Combat Entertainment System fighting with steel weapons. And I am doing a review of my order that I placed with Steel Mastery in June of 2019 for my Norman Brigadine and a pair of custom gauntlets which are now on their website as the SCA steel gauntlets. So to begin I'm going to go over the order process, what I felt was good, what I felt was bad and I'm just going to go through as I do it. So for the order process it was really easy. Uh, I sent out an email with what I want, they sent back with what uh, they need like measurements, this, that, everything else. Fire back and forth, um, super easy. And then when you're all set and done, you've got your quote, you got your price, you send it off via PayPal, and you basically wait until your order's ready. Um, length of your wait depends on your queue or wherever you are in the order, how busy they are, what you're ordering, how much you're ordering. Um, the biggest issue I had with the ordering process was the fact that. I'm in a different time zone and because of my time zone I had a hard time getting emails back and forth I'd wake up in the morning and I'd have an email and I would usually only have about two or three hours to reply to the email get everything ready reply to the email before I get or be out of their business hours that means my order process instead of taking a day or a couple hours took almost a week but it was well worth the wait that's for sure. Um, so I just mentioned time on my ordering. My order, I had two different things. I had, again, the Brigadine and the custom gauntlets. The Brigadine took about three months. I placed the order in June, as I said, and I received the order at the beginning of October of 2019. And then the gauntlets took a little bit longer. They shipped um, just before Christmas in December. And I did not receive them until January, but again, custom order, a lot more time, a lot more process required for that, so it was definitely a well worth the wait type of idea. Um, so I'm going to go my thoughts on my Brigadine. My Brigadine, I absolutely love it. Um, it's the third suit of armor I have used since I started fighting, and it's the first one that I have not made myself. It fits like a glove, like it absolutely fits perfectly for the measurements that I sent them. Um, over armor, or over padding, without padding, everything else, it still fits. It fits wonderfully. Um, it's super light. Um, all the metal plates on it are titanium. I went with titanium armor. Uh, it saves on rust and any other damage. No, no repairs. Basic, simple. Um, I had custom spalders for it because the spalders that came with it as the option on the website were not up to spec for my personal safety for the fighting that I do. So I upgraded to the whole hammered spalders, which are fantastic. Um, kind of football-esque, but fantastic. They suit this armor, especially with the leather covering them. They look amazing with it, as you can see. Uh, the only cosmetic issue I have with this armor is the fact that the rivets are singularly done in the center and the plates tend to shift on the armor, which I generally find myself and a couple other people that are in my group that I fight with, a couple of, uh, especially our one squire, have a really hard time if one of the plates gets twisted and is not straight lined up but again that's a cosmetic issue um, the only other thing is the buckles on it are extremely weak i will probably end up switching those out for a heavier buckle just in case they get hit by a sword because of their positioning on the sides of the body how long until i actually have to do that i'm not going to do it until they actually get damaged other than that i'm not worried about it hopefully they don't get hit We'll see. Um, so, on to the gauntlets. 
so these were the cust these are were customized gauntlets that were produced from a picture. I sent Steel Mastery a picture of gauntlets from the internet that I had seen that I had liked, but I had a hard time with finding a manufacturer for them or a reasonable manufacturer for them. Um, they are by far the best pair of gauntlets I've ever tried on, I've ever put on. They're extremely comfortable. They're Once they're broken in, they're extremely flexible. They move really well. There's not a lot of um, lateral movement, but they curl quite nicely. The thumb's fairly rigid, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, they, fit, uh, they fit good. Uh, the, biggest, the big issue that I had when I first got them is that it has a sewn-in glove in the inside which is fine, it works wonderfully, but uh, the pouch under the fingers, because it is a pouch, um, there was no way of, or it was very loose, to make it so that when you closed your hand, you'd pull the pouch out long before the metal of the gauntlets would actually move. I have adjusted that by just stitching uh, the excess fabric on the inside and it works fairly well. Um, eventually, I probably will have to replace the insides of these gauntlets, but hopefully not for a while. Um, <clears throat> the material that they use for these sewn-in gloves is a very durable material. I find it's very good, but I have had issues with it ripping on the inside of the thumb because of all the amount of movement. I guess you can see it better there. Um, because of all the movement on that spot and also um, flipping blades around, grabbing them with your hand, doing half sword with long sword, you tend to end up getting cut or they rip. Again, it's just a small flaw, not a big issue. Um, the biggest issue I have with these, and it comes from the thumb. So the thumb on these, as you can see, it cannot bend a whole lot. I can't tuck it underneath the rest of my hand when I'm holding a sword. So the thumb sticks out. And with the covering that is on it, that leaves the whole end of my thumb exposed. So I have actually been in contact with Steel Mastery and I ordered a set of, of um, full enclosure thumb caps for my thumbs and I will replace those when I get them so I can't wait for that <clears throat> but other than that other than the thumb the protection on these is fantastic like you can I can punch a brick wall and it doesn't hurt it doesn't you don't feel it you don't feel the any damage coming transferring through to your hands it's very wonderful um, so overall um, my overall experience with Steel Mastery, my overall experience with their products and what I've ordered. They're a great company to work with. They know what they're doing. They're amazing at what they do. Like To be able to take something that is a very complex design, like my gauntlets, lots of plates, lots of moving parts, from a picture and be able to recreate them almost identical to the picture and be usable and functioning and to have them actually take that and actually use it as a product on their website is fantastic. I highly recommend anybody looking for equipment, for fighting, go through Steel Mastery, talk to them. Even if you've just got a picture or a drawing or something, talk to them, send, a pic send it in, see them, get it something custom made. Because in the long run, you're not gonna regret it. Might be a little bit more money up front, but it's fantastic. This stuff that they produce is amazing. So I'm gonna plug myself here. If you wanna see more stuff about the armor or me wearing the armor, me using the gauntlets, the stuff that I do, some of my fights with in this stuff, check me out on Instagram. It's uh, Viking Njord on Instagram. And see you guys later.